Welcome back to Mafia's Finest TV, and today we are going to be going over a topic that not even VidIQ or TubeBuddy really want to talk about, and that's which one is better. I can assure you that this video is not going to be a complete breakdown of every little single thing and the free version versus all the paid versions. That will be something if this video does either blow up or if people actually want more on this topic, I may pay for a month or so and test out all the features from TubeBuddy and vidIQ. I am not interested myself in buying the paid version of TubeBuddy or vidIQ. When I talk about TubeBuddy versus vidIQ, I want you guys to understand one simple concept. SEO. That is what I use these two things for. Now, with that being said, I don't think that the SEO that TubeBuddy and that vidIQ offer are actually the SEO that every one of us is looking for, simply because I've tested it out and I have a bunch of other YouTube friends who have tested it out and they don't believe in the vidIQ and the TubeBuddy story. They do believe in some of the SEO topics that, that they cover, but I don't think that when people say SEO, I, I don't think TubeBuddy and vidIQ are the main two things that you should be thinking of whenever you're thinking about doing good SEO. With all that being said, let's get into the video. So to start this off, I really want to go with vidIQ first. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Because for the longest time, I thought that they were the best option. And they also reviewed my channel, so I'm a little bit biased. Regardless of saying that, both of these programs are extensions, and they also do have their own website. As so, they have vidIQ, and then they also have TubeBuddy. So... We're going to start out with vidIQ and we're going to go in depth as much as we possibly can, at least from the stuff that I use. To start off, I'm going to start off on YouTube because both of these are extensions and they're very, very easy to use, even for the stupidest person that could ever be on the internet. And when I talk about this, I really want you guys to understand this one thing. Your top here at the top right, you have vidIQ and everything that's broken down within it. So you can see how many hours you've been watched. You can see how many people have watched your video in the last 60 minutes, and you can also see how many people have watched your video in the last 48 hours, last seven days, and minutes watched in the past seven days, and how many subscribers you have. This average minutes watched down at the bottom here, that's very important whenever you're trying to think about scale and growth, because you want that number to be as high as you possibly can. What is also visible up here is the vidIQ extension, which you can see on your browser. It just kind of gives you some kind of shortcuts, and I don't really use these, I just go to YouTube itself, but these are actually really helpful shortcuts, especially if you just wanna see everything in one place. But the best way to track your stuff, and then you can see at the very top, the very top right, that right there, it's it's all right there. Now, vidIQ does have things on the homepage here to the very left, which you can see on the left here. They have competitors, trend alerts, most viewed, channel audit, achievements, vidIQ Academy, that most of this stuff is all paid features. So I don't have them. So you have to go in and I have to upgrade my account. And again, I don't really, really care to do that. There are some pretty helpful insights on this, but a lot of this stuff on vidIQ, you have to pay for to get some of the stuff that you get on TubeBuddy for free. If all this stuff is in the green and it's positive, then you are definitely on the right track. If you are negative, then you gotta read. I'm all negative, shit. That's okay though. I just, I'm really here to help you guys. I'm not really here to grow. The real money is YouTube Studio itself because within YouTube Studio, they show you stuff like this and you can actually see where your stuff is ranked. Don't mind the green for right now. That's too, buddy. We'll, we'll go over that in a second. You got the numbers which are in blue and then you get the numbers which are in green. The green is too, buddy. The blue is vidIQ. And whenever it comes to, to, to this kind of stuff, you wanna see your vidIQ score. You wanna see what your SEO score is. This is very important whenever it comes to ranking. And the one thing that I wanna mention is that not all this stuff is 100% accurate whenever it comes to ranking. They do also give you recommendations for tags, which is really good, like, except for right now, because apparently Brain is the only one that's recommending for me. But what you wanna do is you wanna pick the right tags and you don't wanna pick too high of volume tags, because again, when you're talking about high volume tags, it's great that you can be ranked for it, but I can tell you if you are ranked for it, unless you get views, you will not stay ranked for that, especially on YouTube. YouTube is very unforgiving whenever it comes to ranking and views. They want people to stay on their platform as long as possible. VidIQ has videos on this kind of stuff. You can go on their channel and you can find out all about how all this stuff works, but for right now, this is what I pretty much use 
I don't really understand all this stuff fully at some points, but essentially you want to make this vidIQ SEO score go up as much as possible. That only really does work if you are going for high volume tags, which again, as we just talked about, isn't the best way to go, especially if you are a small YouTuber. All right, now let's go into the website itself. So the website itself, as you can see, just right off the bat is very heavily analytical. I barely come to this website i actually only come here to see how many subscribers i've lost and how many subscribers i've gained that's a lot of people that i've lost i should be at almost 650 right now but again that's okay that's not why i'm here i'm here to help out as much as i possibly can when i go into all these other tabs if it'll load and it just kind of lays it out in one nice little form upgrade the pro for the description upgrade the pro for this upgrade the boost whatever the hell it is vidIQ in a nutshell to me is pretty much an analytics type of platform if you're really interested in numbers vidIQ is the place to be but vidIQ fuck all right now where was i right yes so an overall take on vidIQ is that you should really be using this if you just are, are, are looking for an analytical perspective. Now for TubeBuddy, like this little menu. And I also like the way that they laid everything out. So messages, tools, industry news, milestones, this stuff is pretty cool. So the things that I want to point out here is that the messages here is really just to, to promote them and their content, which is fine. It's their, obviously their product and you're using the free version. So why shouldn't you have to watch their stuff or whatever? So the most important part, the most thing that I use the most is the keyword explorer. And when I do this, I want to understand what the high search volume is and what the low search volume is and pretty much where I'm, I'm standing as far as my SEO. So this is where I also test some, some, some of my tags that I put in my videos. Let's put in SEO just to be funny. Now, what I like about this is that they actually laid out for you. The search volume is excellent. The competition is poor and so is the optimization strength. This is a really good way to see where you can stand in a ranking. That very top bar here at the top that says poor at the current moment, you want that to say either very good, very good, or excellent. Not all of your tags have to be good or very good or excellent. Probably at least getting one excellent or very good. I do also like the milestones type of thing that TubeBuddy has going on versus vidIQ. V vidIQ, I've only seen kind of like an email blast that they send out. Some Sometimes that's the way that to, to get some creators going. They want to see those numbers. They want to see those milestones. So that's what they care about. And this is a great place to start. So on TubeBuddy's website, this is what I see. Okay. I, I have my Descending Realm Games near I have my Mafia's Finest thing. And I do not see anything really that's here for analytics. It's kind of more of just like a promotion for themselves, how to do YouTube member perks. And you can kind of get you like your starter kit. That is a good thing to kind of get yourself started. And then they have their affiliate program. I'm not a part of this, but I may sign up eventually one, one day, maybe not today on, on TubeBuddy's website. It's more about their products and what they're kind of offering to you than vidIQ. vidIQ does have that as well, but they also have their own analytical portion of it, which you can kind of see certain things. But before we go, ahead i want to get everyone to understand that analytics is within youtube you can break down your analytics in your channel or you can break it down by video you can do whatever you want to do the reach section is definitely the most important section because it tells you where your traffic is coming from where your impressions are going your views from the impressions and your average view duration this number right here the 151 that, that i have you want that to be a lot higher than that. You want impressions to be high and you want your views from those impressions to be high. If your thumbnail is not very good and your title is not very engaging, that impressions are, are gonna be very high and your views are gonna be very low. But it's all about testing. So I think my thumbnails might have to be changed a little bit just to see where I can go, especially with click-through rate and my views from my impressions. You can also see where your traffic comes from. So you can see it's from Reddit, YouTube, Google search, you, you can see all these kinds of things. So overall, I, I want you to understand that whenever it comes to vidIQ versus TubeBuddy, they are both good options. I do not recommend that you download both, which is what I have. I recommend that you download one of them at a time and test out which one is the best for you. If you wanna do the paid plans, you can. vidIQ versus TubeBuddy, in the end, I would say TubeBuddy is the more user-friendly whenever it comes to 
being on YouTube, especially if you're smart and you're savvy and you kind of want to understand how SEO works and how to improve yourself. Well, that is enough of my psychobabble. I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to subscribe down below and let me know if you'd like to see more of stuff like this because I want to give as much value as I possibly can and I want you guys to succeed on YouTube and really in life, just in life in general. It doesn't have to be on YouTube. It could be anywhere. What's this? Good news. This channel qualifies for free to buddy sponsored upgrades. Oh, baby. What are sponsored upgrades? Sponsor sponsors upgrades give you a way to earn free upgrade access to TubeBuddy in exchange for completing a task. The level and length of your free upgrade depends on the task you, you will perform and can also depend on your channel side. Oh, goody. And remember one last thing before we go, all hail the YouTube gods.